Hi sir, this is Aaron at Solutionware Tech Support. So this is a video showing how to take a cut that the Mazak normally can't do in Mazatrol and output it as a manual process using the Geopath CAD CAM software. So here we have a pocket exterior and there's a seven sort of round bosses on the inside. So I'm going to carve all this area out here. Now normally if you make a pocket cut out of that, Geopath will say, hey, you know, by the way, the Mazak won't support seven islands in a single pocket routine, so it'll just cut it off at, you know, whatever the limit is. Like if you make an M32 pocket, it'll cut it off at whatever the first, you know, island is, and it'll ignore the rest of them when you convert to Mazatrol. So I'm going to show you a way to get around that. So we're going to start by, you know, making a tool here. Uh, call it a half inch end mill. And give it one flute, and let's say 800 surface footage, and one inch initial Z, and we'll say do it, and we'll make a pocket cut, and we'll give it a depth. Remember, it's a negative value here on the CAD CAM, and we'll set the step over at 40%, and just to see a few passes. We'll set the fin R to uh, 10 thou, and the fin Z to 5 thou, and we'll skip the finish pass for the moment, and we'll just say do it here. All right, I'm going to outline my pocket, and hit done, and cut left, and it'll just show me a ring around the edge. That's fine as long as it's on the inside. Same thing, are there any bosses? Yes. It doesn't matter really um, to Geopath which order you pick them in. And the same thing, you're just going to pick each one, auto-chain it, cut left. And we just want to make sure the tool's on the correct side first before we start computing the whole pocket. Now you do need to pick these things one at a time. So that's what I'm doing here, picking one. Is this correct if it's on the outside? The answer is yes. Is there another one? Yes. I'm picking the next one done, cut left and do it, it goes around the outside, that's good, is this correct, yes, is there another boss, no, and you can see it does just those three. Now I want to add a few more bosses to that, so I'm just going to go back and modify the cut here, different geometry, yes, add an island, and pick the next one, done, cut left, and it just picks up right where it left off, yes, is there another one, yes, done, cut left. So even if you make a mistake and say, are there any bosses, are there more bosses? No. You can always pick up where you left off. No big deal. You can also remove islands the same way from a pocket. Go back and modify the cut. Different geometry, yes. What do you want to do? Delete an island. Alright, so is there another boss? No. Here's the final product with all those bosses considered. Sort of carves as much as it can out of the middle and works its way towards the outside. All right, now again, if we convert to Mazatrol, we'll give you a warning right away that this, you know, we're going to drop um, uh, everything after, in the case of M32 here, the first island. That's this message. Does, Mazatrol does not allow more than one boss per pocket. So, your Mazak program has whatever the first island is, and that's it. And here it is, right here. So, to correct that, in the CAD CAM software, what you want to do is you can see all the moves that it made right here. If we could trace over that with the same tool and make a manual process out of it, that would sort of give us what we want. And that's what we're going to do. We're just going to go right back to tool slash cut, make new tool or cut, same tool, yes. Pick position the tool as the cut. All right, and don't worry about the depth. You can blank that out. Don't worry about the stock. Don't, all the thing you need to really worry about is the feed rate. Here's your Z feed rate under feed per tooth for Mazatrol, and your roughing feed rate, wherever you want for those two. That's a little fast. Um, how about that? Even that's a little fast. There we go. All right, so I'm going to hit do it. Now you're going to pick one of these red lines. You can see I can't right now. It doesn't highlight it like it does the yellow and the purple geometry. The red lines are where the tool moved a moment ago. So if you have that problem, Go to Layers and Set. Even though you're in the middle of picking geometry, you can do this without interrupting what you're doing. You can see the second layer here, the Toolpath layer, that's the page that has all these red lines on it. If you press the little lock symbol here once with the left mouse button, then hit OK, now you can pick one of these lines. And it doesn't matter which one you pick, you can pick any one. Left click once right here, for example. It'll just give you the depth, you just hit OK. It'll ask if you want to reuse the whole thing, yes. It'll give you the depth again, just hit OK, let's speed it up. Alright, so there's the cut redone. Is that what you want? Yes. Just now right click on the original pocket, suppress it, and then make the Mazak program again, and you'll have the entire pocket with all eight islands or whatever, all in 